Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So today uh, I'm going to show you practically that how a storage account is converted from LRS to GRS. So LRS is locally redundant storage and GRS is geo redundant storage. So in LRS we have three copies of data within a primary region only and in GRS we have couple of regions that is primary and secondary and the data is replicated it has six copies so let's see how we can convert a storage account from LRS to GRS okay so I'll go to my storage account and after the conversion to GRS I'll show you how to fail over if you remember in one of my videos I have uh, uh, told you about the concept of storage account failover so we will be practically demonstrating the same as well so as you can see this is my storage account right and in this if you go in the redundancy tab you will see that as of now my storage account is locally redundant and it is situated in central India right now I will try to make it geo redundant okay I'll save it and depending upon the data and many other constraints it might take a while for you for making a geo redundant uh, you know depending upon the size of data since my account was empty so as you can see it uh, changed to geo redundant storage uh, at the earliest maybe hardly took five seconds right so now we have two regions as I told you central India and the data has been replicated to south India as well right and we have six copies three here and three over here so this is how uh, the redundancy is changed via the portal right now if I refresh it you can see that we are getting a prompt over here right what it is say, saying failover cannot yet be initiated because initial data synchronization from the primary to secondary region is in progress failover will be available when synchronization is complete so as I told you it might take a while it is showing instantaneously that it has been converted to GRS but the synchronization might take a bit more time so I'll just fast forward the video and once the synchronization is complete we will initiate the failover and see practically what happens okay so hey everyone as you can see uh, the resynchronization has completed and the prepare for failover, failover option is now not grayed out and we can initiate the failover so uh, you can see this particular prompt as your storage as your storage redundancy copies your data so that it it is protected from transient hardware failures network or power outages and natural disasters if an outage renders the primary endpoint unavailable then you can initiate a failover to the secondary endpoint to rapidly restore write access to your data so as you can see this is a customer initiated failover scenario we are not impacted by a disaster but just to test it we are going to initiate the failover being the customer so let's click on prepare for failover option over here you can read it out it says whatever I had uh, informed you about in the previous video upon storage account failover what's the most important thing is the last sync time so the last sync time is 3 15 p.m. that is four minutes before okay what does this mean that the data from the primary has been synced to the secondary on 3 15 p.m right and till that time whatever data was in the primary will be in the secondary just to brief you more on this once we initiate the failover what will happen this primary will become unavailable and the secondary will become the primary right and it will be of LRS 
replication type only so we will only have one uh, region and one site of replication that will be south india which will become the primary and its redundancy type will become lrs locally redundant storage so let's initiate the failover you just need to type yes okay that's the confirmation and you can click on failover this might take a while let's see otherwise if it's taking a bit longer what i'll do i'll just forward and continue when it's once it's done otherwise we can wait for a few seconds so this central india region will be gone okay and we'll only have the secondary endpoint and it will become the primary that will be south india with the replication type lrs <coughs> okay it's in progress and this probably at max takes one hour okay but uh, since our data is very less it should take a bit lesser maybe 10 minutes and uh, in the meantime let me tell you the sync time that you saw it was 3 15 pm right so uh, the minimum sync time difference maximum f that can be possible although there are no SLAs it is 15 minutes and that is known as the RPO okay so let's search Azure storage account Azure replication RPO okay and you'll get to know what is RPO okay Mm, I think that's not the right document. Mm. RPO is uh, known as the recovery point objective, and as I told you, indicates the point in time to which data can be recovered. So, if the syncing, so the syncing is done and the maximum difference that is possible is 15 minutes so by far if you wrote a data where it was 15 minutes ago as your says most probably it will be there okay so that is the recovery point objective here it is why it happens because in the secondary region the data is replicated asynchronously okay that is not simultaneous it takes a while so if a failure occurs azure can't guarantee that uh, the data will be there instantaneously which has been written so the maximum difference that azure commits in fact it's not a sla but i believe the data has been derived from uh, you know taking huge amount of multiple references and it has come to 15 minutes that is the recovery point objective okay so let's see if our failover is complete now it's still in the process so i'll just pause the video and show you the final outcome as it south india becomes the primary region with lrs redundancy over here okay i'll pause the video for now hey hello everyone we are back again and uh, as you can see the failover has completed the last failover time is 3 33 pm and as you can see south india has become the primary region and its redundancy is lrs locally redundant storage and our primary region the earlier primary that was central india is gone okay that data doesn't exist there so <clears throat> i hope you understood how a storage account failover works and how uh, data uh, you know in the primary region is uh, gone and uh, the secondary becomes the new primary with 
LRS redundancy for GRS replication type. Okay, with that, this completes our lab for storage account failover and redundancy change. Thank you. Have a great day.